What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode. I know a lot of you are wondering, whoa, this looks different than all the other episodes. So um, the reason this one looks different is because I'm actually filming at my apartment. I kind of made it a mission of mine. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to wait till I'm able to film my videos. I'm going to bring my whole camera set to me so that I can kind of set it up and do a quick video for you guys. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Dr. Greg Asatri and I am an orthodontist in Southern California. And the purpose of today's video isn't really catered just to orthodontists, but it's to give advice to any student that's at the high school level that's interested in becoming a doctor of any sort, whether that be a dentist, physician, pharmacist, literally anything. And the reason I feel qualified to be talking about this is because I've spent the past seven years or so mentoring pre-health students to get into the careers of their choices. I've mentored at least a couple hundred and I pretty sure I'm nearing in the thousands by this point. So I know a lot about the path to becoming a medical student, a dental student. I've read countless personal statements and what I want to talk about today was a question that I received a lot on a previous video that I made and that was what classes should a pre-health student take when they are in high school. Now personally for me, I knew that I wanted to be an orthodontist ever since I was about 11 or 12 years old but a lot of people don't follow that same path. But if you're interested in being in any healthcare, the journey is pretty much the same up until about the beginning or middle of college. At that point, there's a little bit of differences on how you can specialize into the career choice that you would prefer, but up until that stage, they're pretty similar. And what I'm gonna dive into today's video is what classes to take, what to be involved with while in high school to set yourself up to have the most seamless transition through college and into that professional school of your choice. So stay tuned. Okay, so the main thing I want you guys to remember when you're in the high school level is that stay open-minded to every career choice. I feel as though I'm in a minority, whereas I knew that I wanted to be an orthodontist really early on in life, and I kind of set my path to achieve that, but there's a lot of people that flop around, so don't feel so committed to something that you don't stay open to other avenues. That means get involved in extracurricular activities when you're in high school. If you like sports, do sports. I personally love doing video stuff, so that actually kind of fed me perfectly into actually doing this whole YouTube channel. So I learned the skills of you know videography, film editing, and all that stuff while I was in high school, and I kind of refined it throughout the years. So I think it's really important to take classes in high school that you're interested in. My girlfriend's calling me right now, so she wants to say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'll call you back in a second. Now, some classes might be a little bit more beneficial when you're in high school because they'll set you up for an easier time when you're in college. These classes include things like biology and math. It's really good to have a foundation in these classes so that when you take the courses again while you're in college, you'll have a good foundation to build off of and therefore it'll be easier for you to get good grades. It's really important to take classes that you're interested in because when you take classes that you enjoy, it's a lot easier to get good grades in them because you're actually putting in the effort because it's something that you're interested in, right? So it's actually more beneficial to take classes that you're interested in and you can do well in than it is to take classes that are biology related because the most important thing for colleges is that you have good grades. So it's really important to follow your passions and your interests. Like I said, when I was in high school, I was really interested in filmography. So that's why I got involved in things like that. I took film classes and that passion didn't end up becoming my career, so to speak, but I could still use the skills that I gained back then and make videos like this on YouTube. So it's important to explore your passions and your interests while you're in high school. Another really cool thing you could do while you're in high school is to firm up to see whether this is something you're really even interested in. And you can do this by shadowing and volunteering at like a nearby hospital or a dental office. You basically can get in there and see what a day in the life is for these specialists. YouTube is great at doing day in the life videos, but once you're actually there and in person, there's a lot you can learn from. Not to mention when you're applying to medical school, pharmacy school, dental school, they're gonna wanna see that you've had experience shadowing. Another thing that I did personally that I found to be really beneficial was to take classes at a local community college while I was at high school. So I would take these classes at night after high school or during my summer breaks. And the beauty of this was the classes were incredibly cheap and they transferred over to the university that I went to after so that I wouldn't have to repeat the courses. These community college classes are a lot cheaper now while you're in high school than they will be when you're a full-time student. So it's a really great opportunity to take advantage of these classes while they're cheap because trust me guys, professional school is not going to be cheap. I can have another video where I go over the costs of professional school, but it definitely is something that's gonna cost a lot. 
So you wanna save as much money now as you can. This gave me a head start on a lot of my prerequisites like math and science, and it made it so I had a lower course load when I was actually in college, which allowed for me to do better and have higher grades. So I'd recommend if you're in high school and you're actually very serious about following a pre-health path, look into a local community college and see whether there are classes that you can take that fit your schedule at nights or during breaks like summer, and that way you can get ahead of the curve and transfer these units into college. So it's kind of like an AP course, but it transfers directly because it actually is a college class. So my biggest advice to give to high school students is, you know, follow your passion, do things that you enjoy, but remember to keep up the good grades. These grades are what will get you into the college of your choice. But when you're applying to medical school, dental school, all these professional schools, they very rarely look back onto your high school's transcripts. So you kind of start with a fresh slate once you start college. So that's the most important time to really kick butt and do well in your classes. But that still means that you should work hard in high school because you wanna set yourself up to get into the college of your dreams so that you can follow down this path. So key take home messages are follow your passions, take the classes that you're interested in. If you're really interested in the sciences, definitely take them. They'll help you lay down a really good foundation that will set you up for the professional school of your choice, but they are by no means a requirement to set yourself up to become a doctor in the future. Do the extracurricular activities like sports, film, theater, things that you enjoy, because this is the time of your life where you're gonna have the chance to actually explore all these avenues pretty freely. If you have the free time during the nights or during the breaks to take community college classes, those will be super beneficial because they will start helping you chip down the amount of courses you're gonna to have to take in college and give you a head start while maintaining a really, really low course fee. These are a lot cheaper when you're in high school versus when you're a full-time college student. If you guys have any particular questions about applying to medical school, dental school, at any stage of the process, I'd love to hear from you. So please leave them in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So I know that you guys are interested in this type of content as well. That's all I have for you for today's episode. For now, Dr. Greg, out.